Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to some more Stellaris and um, we're running an old patch of the game now officially um, I know that 2.4 is, is, is out and it's been out for some time now <clears throat> and I'm thinking about updating but I'm just thinking and it's gonna you know stay on that level um, what I do want to do is go over to species and we don't have any any anyone else other than the Romans. All right, we have some I think one migration treaty or something. Anyways, point being, um, I I'm thinking about updating, but do you know what happened last time we updated? Not for Stellaris for CK2, but anyways, you know, some of you that have been here for longer than you know this series has been running, which isn't that very which isn't that long. Um, We'll recall that what happened last time is everything broke. No, seriously, everything went to sugar. Because, um, well... There was a bit of a problem. Save file broke and uh, we couldn't play anymore. Couldn't load it in, couldn't do much of anything really, and uh, yeah. You might imagine that's a, that's a tiny issue. So, I don't really want to do that. Like, not really, you know. And uh, as a result... As a result, I, um... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still think about it, but, you know. It's probably, probably not going to happen just yet. I actually don't know if it's save game compatible, even. Because I know, like, um, 2 point, let's say 2.1 and 2.12 and 2.1 something, you know, are compatible between each other. But if we go up a whole version number, well, not a whole version number, but, like, the first digit of the after the point something number, is it save game compatible? It's not a rule of thumb that every, every time it has to be or doesn't have to be, it's, it's a case-by-case case basis, obviously, I know, but, you know. I'm curious. Anyways, I'll look into it after the episode, but uh, for now, I've turned updating off. Actually, I've, I've, I have it turned off by default at all times for pretty much all games, because, yeah. Um, yeah, sure, I'll trade with you. And you okay. two have signed a peace treaty. That's very nice of you. Um, you know, oddly enough, it would be brilliant to attack these guys, but yeah, never mind. I think last time we um, we talked about this and we m came to an uh, well, we made an executive decision, and that's why the fleets are moving in this general direction as well. Um, we are going to... Okay, that's fine. Um... We can get cruisers with tech progress, or we can get submerged cruisers. Yeah, let's scrap it. Let's scrap it because I'd like to get cruisers sooner rather than later, and the tech boost is nice. It's an important tech, right? Good. Okay, so a couple of defensive packs. I'm all right with that. I will attack these three. Um, one, two, three down here, because I'm pretty certain that they can't. Um, oh, what's the word? That's like ten thousand of this. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, what? Can someone explain to me how this makes sense? Th this this doesn't this doesn't th the math doesn't work out, does it? Okay, am I being stupid? If I sell five thousand twice, I gain four thousand one hundred and twelve. If I sell 10,000 in one go, I get 3,700... What? 
Why would I not do this? Oh, because it's it's diminishing returns. Right, right, right. Every time you sell, it goes. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, didn't know it automatically updates. I thought it... This used to be different. See, last time I played, this used to be different. It didn't automatically update the moment you clicked, and that enabled a glitch where you could basically get an ultimate, uh, an ultimate, an unlimited amount of one resource, and then, you know, um, Bobby's your uncle from that point on, I suppose, you know. We can actually sell slaves. That's... Very interesting, and we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get to that eventually. Um, my leader union is uh, these guys. All right, that's fine. Uh, we have unemployed people here. That's not very nice. Let's get them employed in energy production. Why not? It's probably gonna be an an agri world or a. Yeah, it's probably going to be an angry world, but that's okay. There's the Husko Destroyers up and up over here, and uh, that's very interesting and very good for us, because what that basically means is when we plow our way through these two and expand, we're going to have these guys to just nib away at any time we want. Essentially, with the way influence is done, with, with the way alliances are done now, nowadays, destroyers are just... and, and, and like, swarms and... and there's multiple types of these, you know, fanatical purifiers and stuff like that. They're called differently, but they're basically the same, or the, at least very similar gameplay mechanic. Can't do diplomacy, are good at war, basically, you know. Uh, those are those are damn good, you know, targets. Which you sort of expect it to be, so, you know, maybe not quite like that. <laughs> I don't know, is it just me? Maybe. But, ooh, maniacal, that's good. Maniacal is good. We need maniacal scientists. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. Um, <laughs> humanity needs more maniacal scientists. That is my official stance and opinion. I'm kidding. Though, difference between insanity and brilliance is a is rather thin and obscure. Now, we should be, if I am looking at this correctly, we should be, um, current piracy, nothing almost, yeah. Well, lo and behold, exactly. Our, uh, our piracy combating procedure is, uh, it's doing rather well. Why am I not getting anything from S attacking enemy assets? See or whatever from here. Oh, because it can't go through there. One would assume. Yes, potentially, probably. Okay. There's only one left. Ah. Okay. Well, I suppose that's. Quite all right. Um, you're taking your sweet while knocking it out. To be honest, I understand it has a lot, of insane amount of HP, but you know, do try and hurry up, basically. Okay. Terrific. Sector secured. Um, mining stations, research stations, and. We will sing glory, glory, hallelujah. Go and repair our, our vessels, and uh, then we make ready for war, basically. Oh, um, stuff to build. Right. Let's go with... Do you need anything? Amenities, sort of, kind of, but not really. Um, Alright, our foundries. Do you need anything? You do need amenities... Civilian industries, research labs, LF foundry, energy grid, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give you like a commercial zone or a hollow theatre, one of the two. Jobs production, for Unity 20 of that. And what about commercial zone? Trade value. Oh, I don't know. Because, like, trade value is, is, like, one trade value is half of, uh, or 0.25% of a unity point. 
I'm not gonna do the calculation. Sod that. That's like, all right, eeny meeny miny moe, grab it <clears throat> by the toe. If he screams, just let him go. There you go. I'm gonna do that calculation. Silly. I would do that because it would be in the spirit of things if I were playing like a Megacorp, right? But I don't find Megacorps very fun, to be honest with you. Uh, I'd love to be a Megacorp if it involved, you know, being a Mega Empire at the same time and sort of um, trading with my subjects and vassals. Well, you can do that, yeah, but it's not the most efficient way to play it and sort of like shooting yourself in the foot. And at that point, you can sort of do it like this as well. Uh, you two are going to research stuff together, are you? That's adorable. Um, yeah, fleet power is pathetic. Okay. Figure I'm ready. Um, though I do need a few more claims, so I'll, I'll wait around for a little bit more. Though it warrants, or it does need to be said, that um, if I do wait around, that has certain problems, or that carries certain complications with it. It has certain risks, if you will. Search abandoned... Can you do that? Oh, thank you. Alright. Okay. Fleets repaired, and... Knowing full well I can add claims as we keep on fighting. Lacking 15. But I can grab this one. Distance 25, distance 50. Oh, so the further they are away, the more they cost. Basically, I, w I want this one to connect the two, but you know what? <laughs> Where are you? Federation Builders, the Uva Xavani Alliance of Sons. You're kind of adorable. Play the slot player. Yeah. Unified Lavis Sons, you're not that right, no no no. The Uvax of Oh! Oh, okay, you're, you're irrelevant. Um, fine. Good. We need to fight them before this alliance grows too much, and we to that's exactly what we're going to do. Safeguard our interests. So, let's do precisely that. Let's safeguard our interests as the... Um, this guy eloquent, eloquently, oh so eloquently even, puts it, and uh, away we go. Whereas they say we go to make war. Um, where do I want to reduce piracy? Like these places, probably? And then I go back, and then go over there, and then go over there again. Sure. Sure, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm still gaining nothing from here. Uh, how's that possible? Oh, much better. Okay, thank you. And we declared war, and okay, off we go then. Where's the Legion? Oh, he's in a bit of an awkward spot, but they should be fine. I'll have ample warning if... Uh, they get engaged from anywhere. Now, how do I go about this? I think I want to reinforce these guys because I have them everything to sustain them. And I think I want to fight separately provided fleet power inferior, fleet power pathetic. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight separately as... Oh, they've 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 jumped on. That's very good, actually. Oh, that, that's actually phenomenal. As long as someone doesn't declare war on me, that's... That is phenomenal. 
Because basically that, that just reinforces my already planned notion, if you will, that um, that I'm just going to go and, and, and fight on two separate fronts. It's risky, but it's efficient. You know, if possible, have one fleet deal with one enemy, second fleet deal with the second enemy. Are both of the fleets powerful enough to deal with whatever they're facing? I don't know. Um, I genuinely don't know. Maybe. Potentially. They could be. You know. I don't know. Again, species, do we have any immigrants? No. Nope. We still have, don't we still don't have any slaves, and that's a massive um penalty to us in general. Right, see one point seven K. That doesn't fill me with confidence exactly. With a force of one point seven K, it's it's you know, it's a bit weak, but then again, pathetic fleet power is like, you know, miles away from um, one of these guys, Inferior, right? Yeah. And their tech is better than mine, so like, if, I don't know. <clears throat> We're not locked in this formation forever, by the way, but it will be a little bit tricky with all the, um, the fighting and, and what have you. And the other fleet is only like eight ships, and I probably don't even need that Enemy many. Alright, here's the test. 1.5 versus 2,000. No, it's probably not their only fleet. But, you know. Construction complete. Oh, this is a spaceport, isn't it? Yeah, it's a spaceport with an anchorage and everything. Ooh, you've picked the wrong target because this is difficult to kill. And I've got reinforcements heading towards there. Mind you, they're going to take their sweet time getting here, but I've got reinforcements, mate, is the thing. Yeah. You know, about that and all that. Um... I'm assuming that these guys, the Polarian Entity, are probably going to be fighting up here and diverting their troops up there because it's close to the capital. They're probably a lot. Of, um, they're probably going to invade them a lot quicker than I am. And they're probably easier to get to, and if I'm completely honest, they're probably easier to kill. Uh, mind you, equivalent in all aspects is, um, you know, maybe a little bit worrying, but okay. You've just gotten past the armor, and... Ooh, I mean, you're gonna take it, but... Oh, no, you're not. You gave... You've given me... An artifact. Why would you do such a thing, but thank you. Right, so, yeah, they... They didn't even manage to take it out fully. They... It was just on the brink, eh? Right, let's watch this this glorious space combat because you're probably not in the greatest of shapes what with the uh, with fighting that thing for for ages. Yeah, mind you, it's gonna this is gonna do a number on my ships as well, but Construction. obviously I outproduce you and outclass you and outgun you. Not that I'm flexing my space biceps. <laughs> Or anything. Ooh, this now costs extra. Did I not notice that before? That it now costs extra to, uh... Probably didn't, did I? I'm gonna grab it anyways, because I want to connect all my territories, but that's the last one I'm gonna grab. How did I not notice it costs extra? That's... Tiny bit silly of me. Okay, but yeah, this was a tough fight. I wanted to check your ships out. 
two, two, one level weaponry. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, ship. Oh, damn it, ship designer. Yeah, I have access to level three shields. I'm not using them, and uh, that's about it. I mean, level two. They have auto cannons, and they're getting close with them, so. My railguns aren't exactly much better than that. Yeah, this is doing a serious number on my ships. Wow, that's this is a lot closer than I thought it would be. Construction complete. But I mean, you know, we'll just reinforce the ships immediately afterwards and all will be well. Question is, do I want to uh, to keep attacking this way, or do I want to turn back now and then counterattack, basically? And I don't know. But you know what? The beauty of of this entire conflict is, I can repair right here. They can't. Um, do I have a science ship that would be potentially ready, willing, and able to go here and research this? Well, sort of. You know. It'll eventually be willing, ready, and able. And that counts for something, damn it. Um, Alright, yeah, you took a bit of a beating, but it makes no difference, you know. I think that's the, the, the most sad part about the, uh, the entire war, is that you taking this beating, slight as it was, makes no difference in the grand scheme of things. Now you're just going to get fixed up like so, and you're gonna go on a spree of conquest. Well, you as well, actually, in, in all due earnestness. Earnestness. Uh, <laughs> Where's their fleet? I'm, I'm, I'm sort of curious now. Do they really go up there? I mean, you know. Isn't that exactly what you said they would do? Yes, it is, but I was sort of saying that more hopefully than, than you know, thinking of it as actual fact, but I'm not complaining. I'm just, just sort of surprised that I was right so thoroughly is that in that they wouldn't even try to come down here Construction complete. and defend themselves. Plasteel materials. What's that do? Well, well, we'll figure it out when we uh, when we have an open research slot. Economy is not doing all too well. Um, we have plenty of minerals. We have plenty of, you know, what we can do with food. What we can do with food. We can do with additional food. You know. No, you need a city district here. And here. Let's upgrade the capital and let's go with civilian industries. Oh, and uh, really quickly, decisions. Quick planetary growth. Quick planetary growth. Planetary growth. Encourage planetary growth. Encourage planetary growth. And, uh, you know, guess what? Encourage planetary growth. Um, <clears throat> Good. We can get this thing to encourage migrations to here. And I'm not sure I'm going to do it once just to sort of see if it's worth it. Develop the planet a little bit more quickly. But it doesn't make much of a difference. Growth speed absolutely does, though. And here's the thing, I've been thinking about that quite a bit actually recently, because um, this is in relation to real life, essentially, and in relation to... Ooh, inhibitors are really nice. I don't care about listening posts. I should have buffed up the primitive cultures, I should have put that like up by double, but I forgot to do it. Because um, I love primitive cultures, like both invading them and sort of watching them grow, and it's, you know, they eventually turn into little mini empires, and you can, you can like, poke them with a stick and go, like, heh, do something. Um, but yeah, this is just fun to look at, basically. It's just, they're tiny, they're like pets, you know, they're like your pet rock. That, 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 that's what they are, and 
No matter how much you grow up, you always have a sort of soft spot for the pet rock. Uh, at least I do. Then again, it's me, dot, dot, dot. Anyways, I was thinking about, um, um, population growth speed and, uh, and, you know, how do I put this more, um, I was thinking about humans breeding. Yeah, there you go. Let's clip that. Um, I guess I'll go with inhibitors. Essentially, we're really good at the damn thing. Well, you know, some of us are, some of us aren't. You know, rude jokes, nerds, neckbeards, something, something along those lines. But, um, no, if you think about it, we're actually really good at, at breeding like rabbits in general humanity, that is. Do you know how many people there are on Earth right now? Seven and a half billion. Roughly, 7.4 billion is, is the figure I found. Here's the thing. When we hit seven billion, well, it was like, what, some a number of years ago? That seems like yesterday to me. And in the cosmic sense, it really, really was like yesterday, right? We're already at seven and a half. It's like in a few years, we're going to go up to eight. Think about that in terms of colonization of space. We're really, really good at expanding our numbers. I mean, think about it. Like, if we were to ship those people off, and I'm not... This, is, this, is, this sounds horrible, and I already know how this is going to end, but bear with me for a second. If we were to send them off, and their families, and, you know, uh, providing it's consensual, and so on and so forth, to a colony that we've built that's... that has even better living standards than the, than the ones that they would have here. So I've covered all my ethical and humane bases, right? We're, we're good with this, yes? We're not moving them by force, we're just giving them an opportunity to emigrate. Are we, are we all happy with this, yes? Excellent. Now, like I said, that you... I doubt you can win this, but I'll send reinforcements anyway. Um, and if we were to send them away, that's like half a billion people every, what, it's not even a decade. It hasn't been even a decade. Let's say like a decade, you know, especially if we put more effort into it and like we're, we, we really think about it and like, yeah, we need more people because a lot of states... Well, a lot of states, like, specifically one of them, and one of the most populous ones, China, is, uh, not really encouraging population growth, because they have too... They have too many of the... They <laughs> have too many of the bastards. Look, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just... It's a funny thing to say. Um, but it... it, it there's, there's, there's some... I guess, earnestness behind that. Um... But anyways, yeah, my point being, that's like very powerful when it, uh, when it when it comes to colonization and stuff, isn't it? If you think about it like that, because, like, damn, we can put half a billion people, obviously, you know, the means of transport and everything, I haven't talked about that, and, and that's different, but I'm sort of hoping that we will get that bit of technology sorted out in, in you know, by the time we... we decide, oh, it might be kind of nice to start colonizing stuff in space, um, that, you know, it's, it's a thing to consider. It's a thing to consider. I don't think we talk about it that often. Like, we, we talk about having overpopulation being an issue and, and, and all that, and it's true, but also, there's, there's a, there's a, other side of the coin, so to speak, you know. Okay, so... False citizens can produce leaders. No, you're going to be residents. Which is going to re reduce your happiness, but it's also going to reduce political power and amenities usage. I can turn you into slaves. Oh, no, 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 let's not do that. You're from the Resh, right? You're from over there. We, we, have, um, we have good relationships with them. So, standard living, well, standard living standards, ha <laughs> um, full military service, can produce armies, generals, and admirals. No, just soldiers, yep. Colonization allowed, 
Uh, population control, none. Migration control, none. Um, slavery. Well, you're not slaves, so there you go. I'm very happy with this. Because, you, you know, you're not going to become a full citizen, no matter how much you try, because look at you. Uh, we're horribly racist here in the Roman Empire, but, uh, you know, you can you can live in peace and, and pursue happiness all you want. Something along those lines. Manifest destiny, etc., etc. Now, um, how are you doing? You keep on keeping on, basically, right? Yeah. Great. Um... Okay, so... I need to control this thing as well. I need to land here. It's not a particularly big planet, but that's kind of good too. I don't have a claim for, for here, do I? Yeah, I don't have a claim for this place, and it's good. It's expensive, but okay. What's that? Wait, you took it? Huh. Where am I looking at the- yeah, I'm looking at the right thing. You took it. Shame on you! Let's head on up and, uh... That'll be good, okay. Leader died. Augusta. Ah, that's horrible. Um, why did I not get a new heir? Because I don't have one. Makes a lot of sense. I'm with you. Okay. Starbase modules and what? Tiberius, get out. Just, just get out. What are you doing? What? Caesar Titus Fabius. Is he any better? Yes. If you could just off yourself, that'd be grand. Bonamorsen and all that, you know. Oh, hello. Okay, you've invested in, in defending this place, haven't you? Jesus, that's gonna... I mean, I'm gonna knock this fleet out very quickly, and that's gonna help with the... Uh, yeah, with this combat, but... Good God. Yeah, that's, this is gonna cost some ships. Another derelict cruiser. How many derelict cruisers am I going to find? Okay, terrific. Now... Enemy presence exposed. Oh, enemy... Pre oh, look, it's the entirety of their fleet. You know, I say that sarcastically, but somehow... Technology secured. Somehow, I'm not quite sure it's... All sarcasm, exactly. Um, this is almost research, so let's, let's grab that. First, because our ships do need... Are in desperate need, actually, of, of quite a bit of upgrading. Enemy presence exposed. Alright, see, there you go. And then... Don't need minerals, don't need... Well, don't need any more minerals, don't need any robots yet. Um, though, you know, take slavery to the next level if you think about it like that, but sure. Um, fleet command limit increased, admiral level cap increased, that's not bad. Starbase damage increased and starbase upgrade cost increased. See, we don't need fleets or admiral cap yet, because... Um, well, I reckon it's somewhat obvious. And this will help with defending against raiders and stuff like that, so I'll go with that option. And let's also rebuild our, uh, 
our lost stuff, and uh, yeah, you're gonna take this over, but that's fine. I will hunt you down, and I will kill you. Oh. See, I've mocked you, and now you've come back to bite me in the arse a little bit. Yeah, this is not a pleasant fight. Ooh, this is, ooh, this is not a pleasant fight. And you're still technically in combat, so you're not going to rebuild. Damn, that's dreadful. Okay. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that fight there. I, I, spiritually, I'm going to be the winner either way. Defend the whole points, attack the whole points. Yeah, I, I, I reckon I'm winning this. Look at your ships. I should win this, in all likelihood. Got a better admiral, too. Eh... Faction. What does it want, and why do I hate it so much? Free movement, anti-autocrat, reproductive freedoms, anti-stuff. What are you talking about? What is this? What part of the... You, you have zero approval, obviously. Size four. This is worrying. This should be size zero. If I suppress you... So make their ethic ethics less attractive to our population for as long as it's active. Yes. So if I remember correctly, that lowers your approval as well, but... Yeah, yeah, but you hate me. It's at zero anyway, so there's no reason not to do this. Good. Um, the factions that do matter, though, have a relatively high approval of me. You guys are sort of on the fence a little bit, but eh. Multicultural society, we're gonna get that. Enclaves incorporated, I don't know. Federated, never. New contact, you know, here and there. Indirect xenology. We can talk about it later. Depends on what the other Special project complete. factions think about it. Okay. Tell you what, though, I reckon it's time we call it right here, and uh, we'll continue next time. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We've been, yeah, we've been doing an excellent job at um, at suppressing piracy as well, and I'm quite happy that we have. I think it's reflected on on our unity somewhat. Anyways, like I said, thank you very much for, very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the series. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye bye.